Hey Virgo, welcome to your monthly reading for August. I am Charlene Lazat. Whether you're new or whether you're returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I hope that you subscribe and become a part of our collective if you haven't already. Okay, for the month, please, if you happen to stumble across, hi, welcome. Uh, I pull three cards for career and finances, three cards for general overall energy, and three cards for love and romance. By the way, my Virgo sisters and brothers, I am a Pisces, so I am your opposites. I am your opposites. Want to become one. It's you and I, babe. It's you and I. For the longest time, I had such a hard time with Virgo energy, and then I realized it was because it's my counterpart. So if you ever find yourself, like, struggling with Piscean energy, remember that it's literally your, your counterpart. Nothing that we can do. You and I was stuck together, babes, whether we like it or not. I've learned this. I've learned this now about uh, Virgo energy. Okay. For career and finances, you have the Four of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Hierophant. I feel like... I feel like there are things, you got the high priestess, there's so much like actual psychic energy happening for you this month. Don't be surprised if you have an influx of information coming through, specifically around your career, your finances, your stability, your foundation, your safety, your security. Okay. And I'll tell you more in a little bit, but the part of the why I'm saying this is because you also got Venus as your amulet. And while Venus is the Venus amulet is about love. It's also about abundance. And abundance is wealth, stability, security, etc. You got the four of cups, the ten of cups, the hair font for career. And then you got the knight uh, and finances. And then you got the knight of pentacles, six of cups, the high priestess for the general overall themes. I want you to think about when you were little, what brought you Oh, you're at the bottom of the deck. Yes. I love this for you. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This is you and Gemini. This is Mercurial, so it's you, baby. What I'm seeing here this month is an understanding that while, yes, you are grounded, while, yes, you are rooted, while, yes, you are an earth sign, my love, you are also so deeply tuned in to your counterpart, Pisces, psychic abilities beyond the ve the veil the the ability to see within and all the realms you're so deeply tuned in to the cosmic infinite energy that connects all of us what i like to call higher consciousness or source consciousness that is where you are at right now this revelation see in the beginning of the month, I wouldn't be surprised if in your career and your finances, you're doing a little bit of adjusting, a little bit of shifting, um, maybe some introspection, maybe some self-reflection, maybe even some boredom with what existed in your career and finances, like thinking about a change in job or um, feeling very stagnant or like ugh, about your career. But what's going to happen is a, a, a gift from God, a gift from the cosmos is going to come through and deliver itself to you in a form of a manifestation, something you've been working on, that's going to help you understand what you need to do to attract. Sorry, I was struggling there. This Ten of, of Cups, right? The hair font is higher learning. It's sacred learning. It's sacred knowledge that only the hair font has that he bestows upon his students, his his peers, his, his uh, uh, alumnum? No, alumnum? No, that's not a word, right? No, his students, okay? I don't know why I'm trying to be fancy here. Just the students, okay? And I think Source is teaching you a lot this month about your abilities. You got the uh, Oracle card called Cult from uh, Rebecca Campbell. It's soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. This is something that you've done before. Um, I do feel like for some of you, you're going to be slightly altering your business if you're self-employed or where you work, if you work for somebody, because you're recognizing now that you may have been slightly out of alignment or may have gotten a little bit stagnant um, in your position and in your day-to-day -day life. And again, you're realizing that you're so much more than that. Yeah, Pluto, definite transformative energy happening for you this month of Virgo, okay? You're you're literally walking through these doorways towards something new, towards a new way of being, a new way of really showing up in your life, far more present, far more stable, but also more connected to source. You got guilt as your mantra card and it says, I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. See, this goes back to that conversation 
conversation we were having in the very beginning where I said, you are now realizing that, you know, your counterpart Pisces plays a very big role in your life, whether you like it or not, right? Like I said, I, I struggled with Virgo energy. And then I realized that like, I should lean into Virgo energy. And my recommendation would you for you would be lean into Piscean energy this month, Virgo, uh, enjoy it, relish in it. And, you know, if you find yourself triggered by Piscean people, don't be so quick to like, be like, ew, they're the problem and judgmental and critical, which is lower octave uh, Virgo energy, but rather ask yourself, what is it about them that's bothering me? Because that is a reflection of what's going on within you. That's what Virgo and Pisces do, babe. They literally mirror each other. You got the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the High Priestess. And this goes back to when you were little. I want you to think about what really brought you joy, what really brought you happiness when you were little. Because for some of you, you're aligning with your life purpose again. You're aligning with your soul mission again. You're kind of remembering what you came here on earth to do. And maybe for some of you recognizing that you may have been a little bit out of alignment, maybe doing a job or a career that wasn't necessarily part of your plan. And yet you took this detour for a specific reason, but now you're getting back on track. I do see a lot of you starting new career opportunities or new um ways of earning a living with that knight of pentacles that have to do with more psychic intuitive past life or uh like the soul mission right when we come to earth we have a soul mission we have a, a reason why we're coming to earth and this time around what you're really doing is stepping into that you're stepping into that power you're stepping into that ability so that you can finally attract um this fulfillment this ten of cups right now, when it comes to love and romance, you got the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Who is this? Hmm? I need to know all the questions. Or what? I need to know all the answers. Drop the T, drop the Ds. Who is this? I want to know. I want to know. Somebody is definitely going to be making an offer to you or proposing something to you. Maybe if you're in a relationship, proposing or like a higher level of commitment. However, all that to be said, if you happen to be completely single this month, I get the feeling that there is somebody here that's going to spark your interest, uh, potentially an air sign or somebody who has a lot of air-like qualities, okay? And if you've been wanting to learn more about tarot, take a look at the description box below. I've launched my tarot course and you could either do the full certification or you can do individual modules depending on where you're at. You got two really strong major arcana here. The Hierophant and the High Priests, which are counterparts to each other, the yin to the yang in Tarot. And it really has to do with the spiritual aspects of the self, okay? I do feel, though, that when it comes to this new interest, um, you've sparked... You've sparked their interests. Do you see how the man is like kneeling to the woman? Regardless of your sex, it doesn't matter. But like, this is somebody who is interested in you. I, you know, it's going to be up to you if you choose to pursue this. You deserve love. And then release your ex. For some of you with this Virgo or Venus retrograde, I should say, you're really realizing that you've held on to maybe a, an ex or somebody who you had dealings with um, for much longer than you needed to. And this is a month where, yes, the sun, I love this for you, where you're really actually going after this 10 of cups. Oh my God, the, two, the ace of cups and the two of wands. Yes. <gasps> I love this for you. Why did I just snap? What is that? That's not me. Oh my God, that's so weird when I do weird stuff like that. You're literally, this is, this is this month. This is what you can expect. This is the overall theme, the 10 of cups. Okay. You even got it with Venus, which is like I said, abundance and love. It's Morganite barrel and rose quartz. So if you have those crystals at home, meditate with them or wear them day to day. You can pick up this amulet if you'd like. I hand make them all, design them all here in Toronto, um, but you don't have to. If you have these two crystals, just wear them, meditate with them. Okay. Babe, this month is actually looking quite transformative and really, really powerful in terms of manifesting your deepest desires desires, which really makes sense because the magician was at the bottom of the deck. You are a man master manifester. So keep that vibe high. Think exactly what you desire to call in and focus on that and watch how quickly your manifestations come to fruition. Okay. Go watch this video as well um, to help you out with this energy and we will see you later. Alligator. Peace out. Bye.